Hey guys, welcome back. So it is the night before Halloween and I have something really exciting to share with you guys. So today I have something really awesome. It's called Torchstone Tie Triple X Hot. This is a collaboration sauce between the former wrestler named Brimstone. Yes, you heard me right. Former wrestler Brimstone and Torchbearer Sauces. This looks like it's gonna be a hot one and I absolutely love the label. This is a little cartoony version right there of Brimstone. If you are not familiar, I would definitely recommend checking out his website. On his website, you'll learn more about Brimstone, more about the sauce, of course, and also more about all of the incredible things that Brimstone has put his fingers in. I don't know any other better way to say it. I know that was a cringy, cringy way of saying it, but you know what I'm saying? He's like had his hands in a lot of pots. Maybe that, that's the term. That's the one I should have used. Um, but yeah, he's done a lot of really awesome things from wrestling to comic books, hot sauce, uh, has his own podcast. The list goes on and on. And plus, he's just a very cool down to earth guy who's now moving on into the hot sauce world. And what I think is really adorable is uh, my husband is familiar with Brimstone's comics and the comic book characters are even huge fans of brimstone sauces so thanks for joining me today really excited to give this one a go and see what it tastes like it's got a beautiful color and it has a beautiful consistency and if you are interested in this sauce or any of the other sauces that will be coming out by brimstone please go check out his website this sauce will be released halloween which is tomorrow how about that so let's take a look at this bad mama jamma and see what we got now, a lot of times sauces are going to have cute little stories or write-ups on the side, and this one doesn't. It just simply says, manufactured by Torchbearer Sauces, LLC. For questions or reorders, torchbearersauces.com, brimstone, therealbrimstone.com. Check out his website. It's a phenomenal website. Great backstory. Great guy. think this is going to be a good sauce. I'm really excited about it. And just to give a shout out for Torchbearer Sauces, they have this little logo that I think is absolutely adorable that says, accidentally healthy, intentionally delicious. All right, so I guess no silly write-up needed because that artwork is just out of this world. I love labels like this. Great job, well done. So let's see, we got 20 calories, uh, five grams of carbohydrate, 45 milligrams of salt. Not bad, not bad. All right, the ingredients. We have honey, brown sugar, water, tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, tomato puree, scorpion pepper, papaya, pineapple, garlic, Carolina Reaper, distilled white vinegar, molasses, canola oil, I'm blind and old, onion, salt, garlic powder, mustard powder, curry powder, crushed peppers, uh, uh, cumin, lemon juice, chili powder. We got there. We got there. This is quite a lot. It's sad. I'm getting old. <laughs> but there we go. You have it. So I was initially uh, expecting this to be a super hot, off the ropes type of uh, sauce. But the fact that honey is the first. No, it kind of reminds me of Brimstone himself. When I talk to him, he's a delightful guy. All the pictures are just very, Rrr. but then you talk to him, he's a very positive, uplifting human being, and I really like that, and therefore immediately want to support and encourage his sauce line, because we need more people like that, just being honest. So the first pepper we got is a scorpion pepper. That's a hot one. It comes before the Carolina Reaper, so I'm thinking it's going to be hot but not too bad it really it, it certainly seems like it's going to be a flavor first heat second situation so let me go get my uh redneck spoon out of the kitchen and we'll give this sauce a shot see what it tastes like all right hold on a sec. spoon perforated seals Thanks. all right <clears throat> let's give this bad boy a shot see how she be Come on, baby, take it off. Just take it off. Just like that. All right. Now, the sauce itself, you can see a little bit of the peppers in there. You can see some of the pulp, but not too much. The body of it is very, very full, very thick. Not so thick that you'd have to beat the bottom of it to get the sauce out of there, but it's got a very nice body. I like that. 
See, you look good even without all that stuff on you. Let's see how you smell. Ooh, it is pretty thick. Ooh, that is very mild aroma. Let me shake this up a little bit more. Yeah, nasty. Stop that. You got dog. That is thick. Look at that. You got cake. Oh my. The fragrance is really mild and smooth and sweet and unexpected. And a lot of the time, whenever Carolina Reaper is in a sauce, that Carolina Reaper just like jumps into your nose holes and tries to take over your life like a face sucker. Not so much in this situation. I smell brown sugar. I smell sweetness. This is cool. This is really interesting. Okay. Redneck spoon. Super thick sauce. I said you weren't going to have to beat on the bottom of it, but I guess this one needs a little bit of a spanking. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Do it. There we go. Ooh, there we go. That is a thicker sauce for sure. Check that out. Oh, there we go. Ooh, she just needs to be warmed up a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Like all of the um, the peppers and the ingredients melt beautifully. And the consistency is nice. It's almost like a watery version of ketchup almost. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's thick. It's sweet. Hell of a lot hotter than I thought. Oh my God. A lot of powders in there. Oh boy. Ah, oh, it's in my eyeballs already. Ooh, it's pleasant though. Oh wow, that's delightful. That's almost in between like a barbecue sauce and a ketchup, as far as fragrance goes, and as far as taste goes. Oh, it's sweet. It's so weird. There's a lot going on. It's definitely sweet. I can definitely taste the powders in there. It is spicy. On like a normal human person scale, I would say that this is like a 7 of a 10. On mine, I'd say it's more like a 5. That's really good. I wasn't expecting that much of a kick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, everything. I can taste every ingredient. None really outweighs the other, which is unique because that does tend to happen. These are all very balanced. It's peppery. It's sweet. Oh, wow. That is wonderful. That is very sweet. And the consistency, the body of it is, is unique. It's almost like a puree. I really like it. That's delicious. And it's only staying here in my mouth. It's not like an atom bomb that's going all the way down to my stomach. This is just staying right on the tip of my tongue, not going under the tongue. Yes, it did get into my eyeballs, but that was just because I was not prepared. I didn't, it did not prepare me. I didn't know. Yeah, just a completely isolated burn right there on my tongue, not killing my throat, not killing my chest, not burning down in my stomach. That's just delightful. It is. That is delightful. This would go really good on ribs. Definitely pork, for show, for show. That is a really, really, really good sauce. Oh, great job, Brimstone. Torchbearer, thank you. This was a really great co collaboration. <gasps> Although it is hot. But again, I will state, I do like the fact that it is just isolated here on my tongue. And I do not feel like I just swallowed a stomach grenade. So, very delicious. Beautiful, well done. Uh, this is awesome. I really am a fan. That is delicious. Very peppery, sweet, unique, full-bodied. That is a really, really, really good sauce. Brimstone, torchbearer. You've done a wonderful job. And Brimstone, I have to tell you, thank you so much for sending this to me for review and sample. It's absolutely spectacular, and I will definitely be cooking with it this weekend. Uh, I love to make creepy dishes for Halloween, and I think that this will definitely be um, in one of those. God, this is good. So if you haven't, you need to go check out therealbrimstone.com and go get yourself a bottle of this sauce. It is absolutely delicious. Um, if you use promo, co promo code 
Torch 15, you will get 15% off of your purchase. And keep in mind, keep your eyes out, keep your ears out. This is uh, being released tomorrow, which is Halloween. So God bless. Y'all take care. Thank you for joining me. Again, thank you, Brimstone. Thank you, Torchbearer Sauces. Still a little numb on the tongue, but I think we'll live. Happy Halloween. Enjoy.